I think all of us who are leading worship in any capacity really desire for our congregations, the people we're leading to engage with that worship set and to go deeper, for lack of a better term, in that worship. That's in all of our hearts. It's why we do this. We've experienced that ourselves. We know what that's like. We know what it can be like to be in a congregation full of worship, full of worshipers, right? So that's hugely valuable to all of us who want to do this thing. And uh, and it's an expression that, that has no real equal in any space. It's a, it's a thing that's sovereign, God ordained. It's a moment, you know, in, in every time that we get together that it's available to us. And, uh, and some of us who kind of struggle through going through the motions in, in a congregational setting, some of our, our congregations aren't as worshipful necessarily, aren't as, uh, as apt to be as fully committed to a worship set, often have trouble with this desire that we wish they would kind of engage. Um, and I think I've been in spaces that it's so easy that I could do anything and they would just go for it And I've been in spaces where it's so hard that like they just stare at you You know either way the most important thing to me in either setting is to make sure that I'm doing my part To connect with the worship that I'm about to lead personally connect right I'm the worship leader which means I need to be worshiping It's so easy for us to get caught up in the in the thing of the thing rather than the who of the thing, right? Um, that's why for me, set building almost always comes down to what can I actually participate in in a worship setting. You know, I need to know where my congregation's at as well, but, but if I can't engage in worship, then I'm not actually portraying the heart that I want our people to be engaging with. I'm going through this thing like a, you know, uh, worship administrator rather than a worship participator. Uh, so, so your quiet time alone with your set before you ever get to a rehearsal, there's no, there's no time to be one-on-one -on -one with God and, and have a moment with God in a rehearsal space. You gotta tell the drummer what to do. Uh, you know, <laughs> Jesse, if you're hearing this, no. Um, but honestly, your 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 one-on-one in the closet, wherever you take your time is actually what's gonna set your congregation up for deeper levels of intimacy with worship because it's through your anointing as the leader that uh, God sets the tone for the room often, often. Just model it for them, model it for them and do it.